What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at a LEGO custom from Zombieland Saga. I am gonna be honest, this is one of my worst customs, and one that I'm not too proud of, but I wanted to make it to sort of celebrate the anime and celebrate that we watched it on the channel. So, the anime review is out now, and you can go check that out if you are interested, but Zombieland Saga is basically an anime where... This guy brings back a load of dead girls to create a zombie idol group, and he picks them from different points in time to have a very vast variety of, um, you know, groups, bands, and, you know, personality types in the band. My favorite is the blonde one, and she does have one ponytail, not two, but it does have green and orange streaks in it, and I couldn't get that. I couldn't work out how to do that in, like, hair form, especially Lego hair. Because there is no massive ponytails in Lego. So I did struggle trying to find a hairpiece for this. I did consider the ponytail from the Lego Minifigure se Series 1 um, cheerleader. Which was that blonde ponytail. And that is the one that I would have used if I still had that figure. Unfortunately I don't have that figure anymore. But if you do that is the hairpiece I would recommend. However the one that I did end up choosing was from the Harley Quinn from the Lego Batman minifigure pack, which came out back in the day, which does have the blue and the pink, which isn't really green and orange, but it's practically close enough. She does wear this red jacket throughout most of the episodes. That is like her main sort of dress wear. And she does have like blue trousers. She does belong to a biker gang. She was part of the biker gang and ended up killing herself in a biker stunt, which went wrong. It was like a extreme game of chicken of how far can you ride your bike before you stop otherwise you're gonna go off the edge and crash your bike and it's gonna explode and you're gonna die and she didn't stop in time and she went over the edge and she died she is very angry she's like a ruffian and she does remind me of my girlfriend quite a lot and i think that's why she's my favorite character but i got into that a lot more into the anime review so here she is she is a very angry character and she does I think she gets persuaded to go and join the idol group way too easily. To say she's this, like, big, bad, angry character, like the Bakugo type, I feel like she was persuaded to join the group way too easily. Like, there was no way this big ruffian biker girl is being told what to do, and then as soon as she, like, she had a rap battle, and then she was instantly hooked and wanted to be an idol so she could take over Japan, Tokyo, wherever they were um saga they wanted to take over saga and i just think that was a little bit too convenient a little bit too easy for them to take over but she was one of the more main characters she had a lot more screen time than some of the others like don't get me wrong everyone had their fair share of screen time but there was a couple of characters that got a little bit more mainly because there were more main characters like ma mainly front up and center and also she was very loud so obviously she was going to be shouting over the characters and talking over them the headpiece that I'm using is also from Zombie Captain America and the torso and legs are from Peter Parker from the Daily Bugle or the torso is from Jack from Hidden Sight and the legs are just some plain blue legs from like they are very basic legs and easy to find but other than that that's all for this figure I hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned for the newest anime review coming very soon and some more Lego customs if you do want me to take your suggestions leave them down in the comments below I'll look at them and I'll try and make them in Lego. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed. See you all next one and bye-bye.